and I'm so excited because I'm going to share with you today what Mr. Pineapple got me for Christmas. Stitch is here on my lap and Bella's right here. I'm hoping the pets are all quiet and the kids got walkie talkies for Christmas and they went outside to play and I'm hoping they don't chirp me. So we'll see. <laughs> but okay, so um, we didn't, we don't usually do a lot of stuff for Christmas for us adults because, you know, we're mostly thinking of our kids. Which I'm sure all parents do. It's probably not just this. Sorry, I was dumping out a little bag here. Just getting everything situated. Okay. But he did do some stuff for me for Christmas. I did some stuff for him too. Oh my God, I'm fishing stuff, you guys. So he was really excited. Babe, did you love all your fishing stuff? Oh yeah. He said, oh yeah, if you didn't hear that. Okay, so um, he did a couple of things for me. One, we had... Okay, so we did two things, and then the third thing I'm going to tell you first because it was the smallest. So we went to Hobby Lobby to pick up some stuff um, from the giveaway you just saw. And he let me pick up some charms to make. Well, not let me. He let me pick out as my Christmas present to make some stitch markers. So I'm going to try to show you these. Do I have? I have a big white card here. Perfect. Ha, ha, ha. So I turned these all into stitch markers. So I got this one. It's like a little car. Isn't it cute? I love the plaid car. It's like one of my favorites. I'll see if I can hold two up at a time. Okay. They were all travel related. So we got like a little thing and a suitcase, a camper and a suitcase. I love that. And the last two that were travel related. Yeah. I'm trying to get them like side by side, you guys. So, I'm so clumsy today. I'm sorry. Uh, one was a globe, and one's a camera. So those are super cute, and then I only got one more, but I absolutely loved this one. This one is like a little storm cloud with little raindrops, and it's just a little chain. So I love these so much. I've been getting back into making stitch markers, and when I saw these, he was like, yeah, it's part of the Christmas present. So I was all excited about it. No, but actually, he took me to two places to do a little shopping. The first one was... McKinney Knittery in McKinney, Texas. So I'm going to put up her card. McKinney Knittery. She's got a cute, the back of the card's cute. So it's yarn and she's got fabric and it's wonderful. And I picked out a few things. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So first off, I got me some new knitting needles. <laughs> you guys know I busted my needles on that project and I did not have another replacement for it. So I got a pair of Chow Goos. I'm super excited. I'm going to get this, that sweater finished now that I have the needles. So excited. The other thing I got that I was super excited about was if you guys watched my video about my goals, I wanted to make the Goldfish Memory Shawl by Casa Pinka and I have a speckle and I have a yellow and I needed a bubblegum pink. Well, while we were there, we found uh, Cascades Heritage, which is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. It's a fingering weight and you get 437 yards in this ridiculous bubblegummy pink color. So I'm so excited because now that I have the pink, I have the yellow and the speckle, I can totally make that shawl. So that will be happening. And then of course, I picked out some, what I like to call unicorn skeins. Like when you go in and you see that one skein, you don't have a project for it or nothing, but you had to have it. I actually picked two. They're by the same dyer, but I couldn't decide it. When I show them to you, you guys will see why. So they are by suburban stitcher who is here in texas so i love her they are her they're both on slub sock yarn so that's a yarn with the crazies i love the crazy yarns and they're both 90 percent superwash merino 10 percent nylon 438 yards okay so the first one i saw i fell in love with it is not typically my colors but it is and this one is called evangeline Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It's like a beige with these maroons and tans and goldy colors. And I just loved it so much when I saw it. And I was like, I have to have Evangeline. It's so pretty. And then I saw this one. And it's so me that I had to have this one. This one's called Bang Bang. <laughs> and it's like these hot pinks and corals and oranges with some deep, deep purples in there. Oh, I love it. So I got these two skeins of my, I'm going to do like, I don't know, maybe cowls out of these. I love them so much. They're so pretty. So that was the first store he took me to for my birthday. And now 
I'm going to pause for a quick second, and then we will talk about the second store I went to, okay? So hold on. Okay, so the second store he took me to was the DFW Reptarium. And if you follow the Everyday Pineapples on Instagram, you would have saw photos of that. Something that most of you don't know about me is since I was a little kid, I have loved, loved snakes. You see where this is going, guys? I got, okay, and he's a little scared still because he's new to the house, but I got this guy. <laughs> you can't see him. I'll try, I'll move him so you can see him in a second. He is a blue-eyed Lucy, which is just a blue-eyed leucistic snake or a blue-eyed white snake. He is a ball python and he is adorable. And we have named him Mr. Oh, <laughs> the dog doesn't care. He just wants to be on the bed. We have named him Mr. Marshmallow and we call him Mellow or Mel for short. And we absolutely love him. It's the middle of the day. So he's kind of napping. That's why he's staying like this and not curling around my hand. But at night, this little guy just takes off around the his little in, enclosure he is adorable he's gonna get he's kind of i don't know if you guys can see very well kind of beigey pinky as he gets older he'll turn more and more white and he does have beautiful little blue eyes i'm gonna see if i can get him to put his head out <laughs> he's just all curled in there in like a knot come on buddy Come on, hi. Oh, there's your little face. Oh, look, there's that little face. Okay, let's see. Nope, he doesn't want to. He's, he's can you see his little eyeball in there? <laughs> he is so mad that we woke him up and took him out of his warm enclosure that he is just not having any of this. Well, Mello is not having any of this. <laughs> he wants to stay, he's looking at me. I love you, Mello. He's such a little sweetie and I adore him. But he is very mad because he was all snugly in his rock with his heating pad and all of that. And he is just not having it. He was up all night playing with it. I'm so excited. I got, so ball pythons get to be five feet, four or five feet, four or five feet. So this little guy's going to get big and chunky. See his little tail? And there's his little nose. Or no, is that his nose? Nope. That's just another curl. But there's his little tail. He's so cute. He does love to roll around. But like I said. He's tired and he is still getting used to us as part of the family. So I'm going to hand this back to Mr. Pineapple. Hi, Mello. I'm petting my Mello. I love him so much. The next time you guys see him, he'll, I'll make sure it's when he's all calmed down and wants to run around. But right now, he's, he's thinking about moving. He's thinking about it, but he's not going to do it. So <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'll hand that back to Mr. Pineapple. He's going to put Mello back in his cage and keep him warm. And I will keep you guys updated. I know a lot of people don't like snakes. I do. I love them so, so much. And he is so sweet and loving. And Well, he's a little snake, so I think he's sweet and loving. He's adorable to watch. And as he gets to know our family, he'll be even more cuddly and adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I got for my birthday. It was so, so much fun. Or not my birthday. Why did I say that? Oh, yeah, because I'm thinking about my birthday coming up. What I got for Christmas from Mr. Pineapple. And like I said, I bought him fishing stuff and he loves it. And Max here is chewing on my bag, which does not make me happy. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys got for Christmas, especially if you got something cool like a snake. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye.